Warning, the following video contains content that may be unsuitable for some audiences. This includes blood and gore, eerie imagery, spookiness, and loud noises. If you are sensitive to any of these things, please consider this as your final warning. Otherwise, for the rest of you, I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright. <laughs> We're still recording. Good. Did not crash. Alright, here we go. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to House of Horror. Now, where we last left off, we just finished, I believe, inside of the house. And we decided to start cleaning it fully in the next episode. So... It's this one, you know. Right? Yeah. Alright, start work. All right. Oh. Come on, now. Didn't like that totem. Understandable. We're going to destroy the totems instead of taking them with us. But I'm still... I'm still taking this Ouija board. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we're shredding this since there's multiple of them. Oh, that's clean water. Okay, cool. So we'll have to go in here and clean all that up. Fun! Oh. Oh, why is there so many brooms here? Weird. Um, hold on. Oh, I should bring one of those boxes down here. Come on now. Jeez. Boop. Easy. Easy now. See, he's chilling out. That's a lot of body. God, and I gotta bring this all up the stairs. That's everything. All right, 
check in here. I guess still the body that we have to remove. But let's destroy these totems. I wonder if there's blood up there. Eh, I think we're fine. Let's see. Body, I see what you're trying to do. Please don't do it. Peace came out. Um, hold on. Okay, you go right there so I know. You come down here and stay right here. destroy the skeletons too. In you go!
Okay. I was trying to see if there's like a a green blood mode, but there is not. In you go. See, they're having fun. Alright. Give me this. You go out here. Give me this. You go out here as well. Was there a knife in here? There was. You go in here as well. There was another knife. Two not three knives. Dang. That's crazy. Ah, uh, you jerk! Get in there! Too many bodies. It's fine. Uh, let's make sure this is good. Another knife? How many knives you got here, pal? Jeez. Contraband, you know? Ah, he's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, please stop. Ah! Please stop it! No! skeleton body go where did it go hello it disappeared in thin air I guess we'll go with this small stuff Um, is it still in here? No. Okay, it's gone. I don't know where it went. But it's gone. It disappeared. So yeah, that's cool. It caused a very huge ruckus and then just disappeared. Now I gotta bring you the, the natural way. You got blood on my walls. Blood on my... Dude. The most messiest person. Jesus. Alright. Seems good. Cool.
So yeah, if you don't know what um, how that sniffer works, yellow is blood, and the purple slash blue is um, objects that you need to get rid of. But you can also keep the objects if you want to by putting them in that portable blue box. And it'll hang up in your office. There's even some items that are uh, coordinated with achievements. That's why I have some items in there. Of course, I can take the skeleton out. Might as well. Just destroy the skeleton. You know, but whatever. He wants me to throw away the cans? Okay. Interesting. Maybe it's because the cans are like... I guess cans and candles, maybe? Get rid of them all. They want to make sure they never had a child. They want evidence of it. No knives! Not my house. You else can probably throw this way? In you go! What? You give me my can? Jeez. we're still finishing up the house because we need to get rid of all this crap. Yippee! Boop. So you know today, um, my friend Help and Ritsu from our Discord server um, they started playing, they both started playing two different games. One was Honey, I Started a Cult, and the other one was Herm's World, if I remember. Something like that. Uh, for Honey, I Am a Cult, they put me in there. And, uh, I am a receptionist for the cult. And my catchphrase was like, Oh, what was it? <laughs> um, I I totally forgot what my catchphrase was, but it was funny. It was a funny experience. So yeah, this is these cans are considered trash. So we gotta get rid of these. Okay. But yeah. Um. But it, for Erm's world, um, they were trying to figure out, uh, like a title for me, like subs like an occupation, and they wanted to give me vlogger, or lore, um, lore or something, I think it was like lore teller or something like that. But yeah, they wanted to give me vlogger, I guess because of YouTube. The thing is, I don't really consider YouTube as a thing that I'll be doing, like, forever. Even as a job, because, one, I'm not getting paid for YouTube. I just do it to entertain you guys. Like, YouTube... Okay, there's grass for the wall. I thought that was a skeleton, just, that disappeared earlier hanging out there. But yeah, 
if I was getting paid for YouTube, you know, good for me. It might motivate me more to do, you know, videos, but at the same time, I'm not really um, doing YouTube to get paid. Everyone knows that. Like, before I started doing BFBB and all those other series that I'd done, I was doing Battle Cats. And the reason why I was doing Battle Cats is because, one, I was introduced to the game uh, before I started, like a year before I started YouTube, and I started playing it. Well, actually, no, not a year. I was showing it, like, a few months before starting YouTube. And, of course, with YouTube, I didn't know what to do as videos. And then, of course, Battlecats was there. It was something new. It was something that I never really um, played before. It was a fun game. And I, um, of course, if you look back, Battlecats is, like, sort of my most popular videos. And the thing about Battlecats is, I was like, um, when playing through it, I did find some stages here and there hard. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try completing these stages and record myself completing them to help others, you know, get a feel of what the stage looks like and, you know, help them out uh, with strats and stuff. And that's what basically Battlecats was for me. All of a sudden, when, of course, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a very long time because of Battle Cats, and then all of a sudden I started to lose content of Battle Cats. Like, I didn't know what to do anymore. And then, one year, during close to Christmas time, I noticed there was a, there was nothing for Christmas. And if you know where I'm going, I decided, I was like, I need to play a different game than Battle Cats. There's nothing I have done. Um, there, everything I've done on Battle Cats that's related to Christmas has been done and does not be, need to be repeated. So, I decided to be like, well, maybe I'll play my childhood game. And then that's when I found Winter Wonderland. Uh, mix, you know. Uh, Winter Wonderland. Not, <laughs> one, not mix. Mix is not added, but yeah. That's when I found that uh, mod, and I was like, this works well. This will work very good um, for Christmas. So that's what I did. I did a five-part playthrough, and that's when Koopa Eliminator found my channel, and it was, uh, I did the playthroughs of his mod, and then here we are now. You see, I probably would have gotten back to Battle Cats and just like, and like, you know what? I think that's it. I don't need to do this anymore. And then just went back to Battle Cats like nothing happened. If Koopa Eliminator was not like, oh, I noticed you did this playthrough. If you were interested, I have other mods that I made. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Try them out, and that's what happened. And of course, from that, uh, I have gang. Let's see. I think I was like <sighs> probably 300 subscribers. Now I'm like I gained a hundred more from BFBB and other heavy iron content. Of course, I'm not saying um, BFBB um, has led to everything, but I definitely um, do appreciate the memories of it. That's why with um, 
Winter Wonderland. I am actually might do it this Christmas again because I have been feeling nostalgic back to, uh, for it. And I was like, man, it's been so long since I played it. So I might play it again. Do I need to throw this? Hold on, let's try. Boxes? Wait, what? You want me to throw away the boxes? What twist? Let's see. Are we sure we want to take out the boxes? Oh, they want us to take out the trash can? I see. So is it this one I have to throw? I'll throw them all if I have to. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but, you know, like I said, I think I mentioned it already, but for Halloween, um, oh, there's knives on here. Okay, that's probably why the thing is going off. Oh yeah, for Halloween, maybe the whole videos a day per month might have been a bit exaggerated. I think if I just played Scooby-Doo and... Um, the FBB Halloween mod and just had them ready and set up, I probably would have been fine. Because I really was hoping a lot of people would, um, would watch, um, the videos of me and my friends playing. Because I was so excited to introduce you guys to my friends. I was super excited, but seems like you guys aren't really interested in that, so I was like, oh, okay. I guess it'll just be, you know, for me.
This plate is trash. These are all trash. Okay, whatever you say. That's the pro area the glass. I don't know. Oh, right. Gotta get these. There's so much cans in here! Are, are you sure all these are trash? Okay. Sniffer never lies, I guess. Clean up, clean up, everybody wants to clean up. You know, the uh, thing about BFVB is it always gets popular. Like, with the Halloween mod, I think it's gotten really popular. Maybe it's just because, um, it's like the f first time that came out, so there's like going to be high demand for it on YouTube. guys I, I remember um sometimes put in the comments you're like uh i really enjoy this video i really like this video this video helped me a lot and i'm like well that's good that's the goal oh god oh god Alright, we need another can. How about this? Whoops! Alright, so the garage is clean. 
Just finishing up the house, making sure there's no more trash, you know? Then we'll continue on to the next part of the game. And you'll see what I mean. Why I'm excited for it. Because this house isn't just a place we have to clean. No, 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 no. We have to clean the garden! Yes, that's right, dear viewer. We gotta clean the garden. What's the garden, you may ask? Well, let's finish cleaning the house and we'll take a stroll to the garden. <laughs> eh, let's see here. I think that's everything. I'm taking this can, uh, glass. <laughs> I'm taking this half of a glass. Blood? Since when was there blood there? Hmm. Weird. Candle. Candle. I'm getting rid of these candles because they're probably trash. And then... Flash. I think that's everything, right? Let's see. Yeah, that's everything. Close that. Alright, that's... That's glasses. This is all empty. Yep. Closing every door we don't have to be in. Did I clean this whole place out? Is that it? I think it's just these few things I have to, you know, throw away. I, I can bring the can up, otherwise the other few things I just have to throw. So let me throw the bucket. Bucket. That was audio anyway. Okay, I think the basement's done then. Should we throw that? I don't know if we should throw that or not. We'll think about it, you know? We'll think about it. What is this thing? Pumpkin? We do have to throw away these trash cans and the pumpkins, but possibly, maybe. We'll see. Our thing looking not too full, so let's fill it up more. Uh, this seems good. Anything in here? Toilet paper, uh, glass. I don't think you put glasses in the bathroom or toilet paper. How much toilet paper do you need out? Oh, right. More toilet paper? Oh! I 
totally forgot I had you up here. But don't you worry. Oh, you also can kill yourself if you would jump in that thing. So we won't do that. That's good. How's this room? He wants us to throw away the boxes? Really? Okay. Eh. I don't think I wanted to throw away the boxes. I think he was sensing stuff upstairs. Yeah, I think he was sensing stuff upstairs. Yeah. We don't have to get rid of the boxes, I don't think. We'll just... Get rid of these candles, though. No need for candles. If you still use candles, what are you doing? Come on now. This is a candle-free zone. And look, you don't even have anything underneath. What if the wax touches the furniture? You fool! You're gonna get wax all over! I to tell you, these people are... Don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I think this room's good. And this room's good. More candles. I'll leave that there as a light, just in case. What were they eating anyway? El Fatso Crisps. I see. El Fatso Crisps. Wonder what flavor. Excuse me? There we go. Taking it out the trash. So I'm guessing if I pick up a hundred trash, I need a thousand trash. I mean, a five hundred more trash. It's a thousand in total. I just get an achievement? That's a lot of trash, so... You know what I've been watching recently? There's, uh... So recently, we played... Me... Ritsu and Help played uh, an SCP Foundation multiplayer type of map on 
VR chat. And that made me uh, think of these SCP interview videos that I saw on what was the channel called? Tat's Top Videos. I used to watch those videos as a kid. Well, I wouldn't say as a kid, but as like, you know, in high school, I would say. And I always liked that those videos. And recently, I started watching those videos again. And we watched the SCP ones. I also watched the top. Uh, how many video? Uh, number of videos they had. It was all good. Fun. So do I need to take out these things? Okay, so... The pots, I'm guessing? Closer too? Okay. Yeah, it was just a toaster. Okay. Maybe that's a metal detector, not a trash detector. Oh god. What is going on? I need to drop that. Oh boy! The frames! The thing is, the candle's deep inside there. Oh my god, it's so hard! You gotta get rid of this box immediately! It's a hazard! Oh, it probably lit all those candles that were in there. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, throw that. Candles out of here. They're death traps. I was hoping that wouldn't happen.
Yeah, I lit up all those candles I had in the box, and that just created a huge, huge FPS drop. Because I bet it's trying to, um, it's trying to, you know, get all those, like, particle effects and everything for the candles. So it's just decided to take a huge dump <laughs> in everything. And that's why we were lagging so badly with the box and everything. Is there any more candles? Are yeah, we getting rid of all these candles? These are death traps. I blame them for my, uh... I blame them for what happened. in here. Yeah, so much happened here. <laughs> I'm just like rushing through. I'm like, oh god, help, help me. <laughs> There's like not much I could do. <laughs> because it was just lagging so terribly that I was like, okay, I gotta get rid of the issue if I want to continue this. I think that's everything in here. Let me take a look. Uh, let's see. I bring the kettle. After this, I think that's everything in this house. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. Except for the metal pots and stuff in here. Can we do that again? I think that's everything. <laughs> now time to throw away these pots. Boop. I'm not bringing that uh, thing up here <laughs> in this building. You know, the thing that brings you up. I am not bringing that in the house, so I'll probably break it. That's one thing I noticed. I probably would be good as a play ta uh, <laughs> a play taster. I probably would be good as a play tester because I am, for some reason, really good at breaking games.
I think that's inside I think that's everything in the house. I think it's detecting the trash cans outside. Otherwise, I think that's everything in here. gonna be like portable trash can wait a second that had blood in it ah crap Mop is very. Eh, well, no, I can still play. That seems good. Got all the trash in here, trash can's gone, good, good, good. Still got this key to take care of. Now it's time to go in here. No! Uh, of course.
A lot more need to get for own. That's it. Done with that part. Yep. Seems good. I think it's locked. We did see a key. Not for this door. Wait. They unlocked. Alright. We'll check out that room later. Taking you home. Yes, it's a This is uh, Freddy's. Uh, not Freddy. Jason's mask and po probably his machete, if I had to guess.
probably clean out the uh, clean up this outside area and leave the rest for the next episode. Sure, there's no trash out here. Take a double. Seems good. I still wonder how you can get in here. Maybe we need another key for this. Anyway, I think that's it for today, guys. If you like this video, just consider liking and subscribing to the channel. My name's Oscar, and I'll see you in the next one. So let me first save before leaving. Oh, not leaving. Exiting. Eh. Yeah, that's a good time. Alright, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!